Hello friends, my name is Amit Bhatt. Welcome to my channel. If you do not subscribe my channel, please do subscribe. At the end of the video, if you like my video, please hit the like button. And welcome to the ASA Firewall series. Here is our ASA video series roadmap. In this video, I will explain you the base configuration of an ASA firewall. Let's start with the basic or introductory class of ASA. I am using GNS3 for this ASA implementation class. Now here is our lab topology. ASA1 connected two interfaces with router 1 and router 2. Router 1 in our inside network, router 2 in our outside network. As per IP address inside network 10.0.0.0/24 range and outside network is 12. 0.0/24 range. First, I will take a console of ASA. Now, config T. Now, interface Ethernet 0/0. Then set IP address 10.0.0.0.254.255.255.255.0. Subnet mask 24. Then name if command. We have to set the name of our inside then hit enter now it automatically set the 100 by default security level now i uh, go to interface ethernet 0 slash 1 now set the ip address of 12.0.0.254 and that's the name outside it uh, by default set the 0 security level i also forget to do no shut on inside interface ethernet 0 slash 0 so and first i no shut command to interface in 0 slash 1 now i exit and then interface ethernet 0 slash 0 to no shut command and exit we use show route command in asa to check the routing table and in in the router we use show ip route but now we go to router one to set the ip address of fast ethernet to zero slash one and set the loopback address of this router one ip address and 1.1.1.1 and the 255.255.0 and set the uh, I default route to the gateway address of the uh, ASA 10.0.0.254 and then exit show IP interface brief to verify our configuration so here you can see we have an administrative down but we do not use no shut command we forget to do this now we start go to config mode interface pass ethernet 0 slash 0 then issue the no shut command so now the interface is up and working Now we go to router 2 and do the same configuration and set the IP address of the interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 and the loopback address uh, config t go to configuration mode then set the interface uh, fast ethernet 0 slash 0 and set the IP address 2012.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0
254. So show IP route and we use do command here in iOS uh, router but in uh, ASA we can go show route in a global interface looking uh, on 10. Uh, the gateway of ASA 254 and we can do the same ping to uh, outside gateway address 12.0.254 exactly successfully rated also the basic connectivity is done now now we go to ASA and check uh, the ping command to the router 1 as you see the successfully uh, pinging to the inside router 1 and now we can go to ping outside router 12.0.0.1 the basic connectivity is done and login console 7 and now I am going to router 1 and do ping to router 2 ping 12.0.0.1 as you see I am not able to uh, receive the reply from router 2 mm, uh, let's check on ASA uh, as you see here it denies the packet of source and outside 12.0.0 uh, destination is inside which is generated by router 1 the router one's IP address 10.0.1 and it's type 0 uh, that the standard ping command does not use uh, TCP or UDP it uses an ICMP and uh, it to be more precise ICMP type 8 is an echo message and type 0 is an echo reply message this is an echo reply message from router 2 so that is why it denies uh, the packet uh, because uh, router 1 sends the packet uh, type 8 and echo message and it will receive the packet with type 0 and I will show you how to allow uh, the ICMP uh, in ASA how to create a class map and how to create a policy map and now I am creating a policy map so that uh, router 1 can able to ping router 2 successfully first I will create class map with a name of default class match default inspection traffic now exit so now I create a policy map with a name of default policy then inside the policy map I have to put here class and default class which have and now I have to inspect uh, which traffic ICMP so exit now I have to then above policy now I have which have created default policy now I have to put it on service policy default policy interface on outside we have to so then now we can go to router 1 and check whether I am able to ping or not so router 1 router 2 12.0.0.1 as you see success rate is 100 percent now and by default ASA can allow TCP and UDP and password is Cisco and show user yeah it says uh, address is router one's address 10.0.0.1 is doing uh, uh, telnet to router 2 so that's it so in my next video i will 
show you how to do a netting in ASA. Thanks for viewing. If you like my channel, please do subscribe, share, and like.